Good morning, everybody. How many of you ever feel like your stuff accumulating in your house kind of makes things accumulate in your brain? I know that sounds a little weird, but give me a minute to explain. Harvest Moon Farm. My name is Mickey, if you are new around here. Um, my channel tends to focus primarily on homesteading activities. I do a lot of baking, I do a lot of cooking. Um, this time of year we're starting to do some gardening. Later in the year we'll do a lot of food preservation. I also throw in a few other things occasionally, like today's video is going to be a decluttering video. So I talked to a career coach um, a few days ago and I'm taking one of her courses. I will link her website down in the description box. Her name is Corey Javid. If you've seen her, she is a career coach. She lives in Ireland and um, she's fantastic. She also has a YouTube channel called Corey Lives the Dream Life where she talks about how her, how she and her family made the decision to move and that whole process, it's been great so far. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, I talked to her and even though we were talking about, we were talking about money and how things in your childhood or young adulthood, kind of ideas and beliefs that you have that, that you formed around different things. In this case, it was money. But it also, our discussion also made me realize that in order to empty my brain and my heart of some of these beliefs that were not serving me well anymore, and they don't necessarily have to be true, they are things that have followed me from my childhood years, in order to, to help get rid of some of those beliefs or or kind of limit the power that they had over you. I feel like if you clean out your space a little bit, that helps. I don't know about you, but when I feel like I'm out of control in a couple of areas, I feel out of control in my whole life. And so my house, we have a much bigger house than we had before and we have a lot of stuff. And it's just Joe and me in this house. Of course, we do have space for our children, our grandchildren, that's great. But you know how it happens. The more space you have, the more things you have to fill it. So I'm gonna start decluttering my whole house, but I'm just gonna do it a room at a time because that's about all that I can focus on at any given time. So we're gonna start today in our bathroom. And I know that seems like a weird place maybe to declutter, but You'll see, I have so much stuff that probably just needs, a lot of it just needs to go in the trash. Or there's a lot of things that could be donated that I'm no longer using. So let me give you a quick look around and then we're gonna get started going through these things. So we do have a really nice, our bathroom is very nice. So we've got this his and her um, sink and counter space. And we've got all of these cabinets down here which is really nice to have that storage as long as you don't fill it with clutter, like in some ways I have. We also have this, whoops, we have this set of cabinets here, which those are used for sheets and towels, but they are overloaded. And then we have also have this narrow space back here, which again, is overloaded. I probably do not need, I'm gonna guess and say half the stuff that I have. So we'll see what happens when we're, how much I end up with when we're all done. I'm gonna start with these cabinets. So this is Joe's side, this is my side. I'm not going to do anything with Joe's stuff. That's for him to do whatever he wants with. And he's generally really good about keeping his stuff decluttered. I and not so good. All right, I'm gonna set our 
or dirty clothes hampers just over here inside the shower, just so I have space to sit. Um, let's see, I'm gonna start with this drawer and just see what I've got in here. Oh my gosh, all kinds of stuff. And even if I decide that I need all of this stuff in this drawer, I feel like there's got to be a much better way to organize it than just having it all flung into here. Whoa! I have a button. Why do I have a button? I don't even know what this goes to. Starting with this little trash can, but I know I'm gonna to have to get something bigger as I move along. So I have these drawer organizers, and I think this might help because it just allows me to create a couple of. Uh oh, this one might be. Oh no, it'll fit. Um, it's gonna let me divide that drawer up into a couple of spaces, and if I decide I need three spaces, I do have. I do have several of these that I can use. But I'm gonna start with just, uh-oh, oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna start with just dividing it into two spaces. And then, let's see. I think I'm gonna divide it into the things that I use every day so my deodorant, my toothbrush, which where is my actual toothbrush? This, the toothpaste. So I have this toothbrush that I travel with, so obviously I don't use that every day. I also have things in here that I'm pretty sure are expired. Okay, I can see the... Hmm. It says April 12th. Well, that doesn't help me much because I don't know what year it is, but I know these are old. Why I have a little flashlight in here? No idea. One of the kids probably put it in here. Okay, I have all these different razor heads and I don't know they look to be three different like they go to three different razor types this one I don't even know what it is and I don't know if any of these are actually the razors that I've got this one is Okay, extra toothbrushes, so those. All right, the razor that I have is a Joy brand. I don't know if I actually have those razors, so I'm gonna put those over there. What is this? Oh yeah, this is an electric toothbrush that I got and I don't like. So I could give this to my daughter. She likes the electric toothbrushes and she can just buy some new heads for it. Okay, wow, that made a huge difference. You guys can see there's not nearly as much junk in there and the stuff that's in there is a lot easier to spined. And I think I'm going to put these someplace else. So I'm going to put these over to the side. All right, next I'm going to tackle these two drawers. So these both have hair tools in them. 
hair brushes, styling tools, drying tools, and I've got multiples of things in here that I just don't need anymore or that I don't need in here necessarily. Um, I try to keep a hair dryer and if I have a duplicate of a straightening tool or something like that in one of my other bathrooms so that if there are guests here they have something that they can use. So let's get working on these. This hair dryer can go in another bathroom. This is the hair dryer that I use. Okay, I've got all these round brushes that I cannot use. I'm going to get rid of them. This, is this that. things I use regularly and some of them I use occasionally. So I am going to sort out these two drawers whoa, based on how often I use these tools. And I have things in here that I don't even know. Like, isn't this crazy how you find things that you don't even know how they got there? why they got there, like a roll of twine. Why is that in the drawer with my hair things? I have no idea. Whoa. Binder clip, again, I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna clean this out before we fill it back up. Okay, this bottom drawer also has some hair things in it, but I think a lot of it is boxes that are empty. so many hair dryers. This one I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if my daughter-in-law wants this one. This I used to do my own hair coloring using um, e-salon but I haven't done that for a long time and I have some old ones that are obviously no good. I'm just gonna pull out the little gloves because I can use those for other things. Okay I definitely need a bigger trash can. this is. How funny. I thought I lost this. The crazy thing is I do use most of this, just some of it, like I said, not very often. that I use pretty much every day. So my hair dryer, Whoa. the hair dryer that I use. And this dry in style, I I have to dry my hair at least most of the way and then use this drying style on it because my hair is frizzy so it cannot dry on its own. Okay, this hairbrush. Um, Alright, what? I use this a lot. And 
then I used this one. Oh, I used this one a lot. So I'm going to put these others in that bottom drawer. These little hand, these little protection gloves that you get with all these tools, I'm going to put in here too. Let's see. Whoops. Attachments I don't use that often. Uh oh, I just dropped something. My dryer attachments I don't use all that often, so I'm going to go ahead and put all that in this bottom drawer. And these other tools that I just use occasionally down here, all organized. You guys are probably going to laugh, or maybe you will understand. Even though I don't keep my tools in these boxes that they came in, these are such good boxes. I have a terrible time <laughs> throwing them away, which is ridiculous, right? I mean, what am I going to use them for? Came from a hotel. Oh, I forgot this. And this is a hair wrap, so it's got to go in my hair stuff, my other hair stuff up there. Just a minute. All right, now look at that disaster. I have extra deodorants. <clears throat> oh, big long hair here. Um, let's see, maybe this will fit. So these are the Lumi deodorants and I really like them. And when I first started buying them, you had to order them online. Now I've been seeing them at Walmart, so I don't need to buy such a huge stash. But I like to try to buy them when they're on sale because of course that makes the most sense. for now. Alright, I have so much random junk down here that I got. Um, I was doing one of those makeup, monthly makeup kit things. I can't think what they're called now, but I was doing one of those, oh look at this, for a while and I ended up with a bunch of stuff that I never used. What is this? Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that. See there's all these things in here that I'm like why am I keeping them? I didn't like them so it didn't make any sense. Oh see I just bought more of this and I had some down here. What is this? I have no idea. So at one time this was divided into hair products and face products. So I need to just start sorting. Okay, this is face, face, face. There's so much junk down here. This is so embarrassing. What is this? Who knows what? Oh, I missed. Part of this, I'm going to have to go get my glasses because I can't see it well enough to read. So I think I need to start just reorganizing. 
with the things that I know I'm going to keep. So hair, hair, I do use that one actually on my grandson. What is this? Detangling spray. I use that on the kids. Well, I will be using it on the kids. I was using it on the kids before I moved here and I didn't know what I did with it. This seven second conditioner is good for them too. Um, let's see. This is a hair product that I'd forgotten I had. I'm going to actually put this. So I've got some, so I get my hair colored periodically. Um, and so I'd forgotten that I bought some toning shampoo and conditioner. So I'm going to put that in my shower so that I can use it. These satin nectar, I put these on my hair before I dry it. And I'm glad I started cleaning this out since I found one I didn't know I had. What is this? This is hair. Okay. Oh, Candles, I have no idea why. What's this? Oh, this was some dry shampoo that I hated. We're gonna get rid of it. Body wash. Why I have this entire bottle of shampoo in here. I'm gonna put it in the kids' bathroom. Oh, I like that occasionally. So, lotions and body scrubs. I have no idea what this is. I think it's a body scrub of some sort. So as you will see when we get over there, I have a ton of lotions and body scrubs and what is this? I think this is a, oh yeah, this is a this is a hand scrub. This is something that I made. It's like a body scrub. More candles. Don't ask me why I have these in here. I have no idea. And then this gigantic basket. So I have all these face masks. And it was all Almost all of it was stuff that came from that that monthly subscription box. Oh, that's base. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is all lotion and body creams. And it looks like a bunch of just crap that I took from hotels. I probably brought it, bought it, brought, oh my goodness, brought it back for my daughter because oops, she loves those little things. All right, it turns out I don't have a space for face stuff because I have so much other junk. Oh, that's lotion. So what I really want to do is I've got lotions from, so they're like a Bath and Body Works. They are all different seasons. And so I want to start pulling them out and go ahead and finish that one first and using up um you know the seasonal stuff so that i just don't have so much i have a lot of christmas stuff here it looks like but i do have a lot of other things too okay so now what i'm gonna do with this other stuff okay i think i'm gonna put my deodorants in here because that's where there's space and it sort of makes sense Okay. 
All right, I have all this extra stuff here now that I need to decide what I want to do with it. Oh, this is, this is shower stuff. All right, so now I've got a bunch of like face masks. A bunch of face masks. And then I have some foot, like foot scrub, dry skin, exfoliant, that sort of thing. Hmm. This there. So now I've got to figure out what I want to do with this. All right, let me just see what I have and then I'll... So I've got some baby foot peel and some stuff that goes along with it. I have some generic baby foot peels. This is face. All right. Oh, this is a hair mask. So this can go, all right, let me just sort it. Hair mask, hair, hair, hair. Okay, so now that I look at them, they make more sense. Okay, so this is hair mask. Okay, I think I have, I don't know what I've got up in that cabinet. I'm gonna get it before I put any more stuff away. So these are, some of them are just like body spray perfumes, but a lot of them go with a lotion that I have in here. So I wonder if I should actually Hmm. I wonder if I should actually match them up. And then the ones that don't have a match can go in a tub by themselves. Let's try that. I've needed to do this for so long. All right, so I don't think I had the camera angled right. So I've got this little plastic container here has the spring warm temperature um, scents. All the holiday scents went in that big uh, basket that was in here and I put it up there. So I've got this little organizer that I think I can use for some of these masks. So I'm going to put my masks in this bottom tray. Uh, along with the little foot soap and foot scrub packets that come with the actual baby foot ones. Now that I can uh, See where, oops. Now that I can see where everything's at, I'm going to be more likely to use these. Whereas before they got, I got them and then we moved and then they got hidden. All right, what is it? So that's just face cleaner. Then I just have a bunch of random things here. This is. Some of this is stuff I need to put up where I'm going to be able to access it. Some of this stuff I was using regularly and then when we moved it got kind of um, hidden away because I had packed everything and since I haven't been through them in, well, well we've been here over two years so. <laughs> so the sleep mask I'm just going to put here. got me this and I've not used it yet. Oh, so it's a one of the face. It's like the face roller. I've never used one of those, so I need to give it a try. And this this little thing is called a 
gua sha. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but oh, you just glide it across your face. You put lotion or serum on and glide it across your face. It's supposed to smooth out wrinkles, relax muscles. We'll see. I'm going to see if my daughter-in-law wants these for my granddaughter's play makeup. If she does not, which she might not, they'll go in the trash. Okay, I'd like to have it up there, but it'll just be in the way. So I'm just going to sit it. Which is the stuff in? Okay, I'm going to kind of put it. Oh, I not do that. I'm going to put it here. And stuff. All right, so I've got quite a bit of donation stuff over here. All right, I have, I think this is, oh my gosh, I can move without making a huge mess here. This is all face products. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of this boxes just because the boxes take up more room. So I've got some toner, so I have a bunch of these cute little bags and I'm just going to put them in with my travel little travel container. I think I have one more piece. All right, so I'm gonna put this back up in that other cabinet. Okay, now, now for the scary cabinet. And I'm gonna be willing to bet a lot of that is trash. Or my boxes that I, I can't make myself part with. So, like this, oh, oh more of these little bags. I'll go ahead and put those. Oh no, those didn't go in there. There's one over here. When I was doing the e salon, I was also getting their shampoo and conditioner. And I really like it, and it's good for my hair because it's colored. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of these. I think I'm just going to set these up here like this. I have so much shampoo and conditioner, there is absolutely no need for me to have to buy any in the next who knows how long. Um, so I, what the heck is all this stuff? My goodness, who knows? Okay, so in here I have... Oh goodness, just a bunch of random stuff. Oh, I have all the little sample shampoos that come with the, the actual, um, with the actual product when you get it. But, I don't think I'm gonna, well, no, I don't think I'm gonna keep those. They're just, there's so many. But I am gonna keep all of the little gloves. All right. Another, oh, in this one. Another box. All right. My extra toothpaste, which I think I can put in that other drawer now that I got it cleaned out. I'm going to have to go dump that trash probably before I finish. Okay. So, got heating pad, a heated back wrap. <clears throat> Definitely want to keep those. What is this? Oh, soap for my husband. I'll put that out for him to see. 
What is this? Pain relief sleeping mask. Um, <laughs> more empty boxes. See, guys, I told you I have a problem with these boxes. I just have not been able to make myself throw them away. Because my thought is, oh, those would be great for storing something. Okay, this is some body wash. I think I'm going to take this body wash and this, um, this shampoo. Is this shampoo? Yeah. This shampoo into the bathroom that the kids use because they're not here that often and so I like to make their baths be really full of bubbles and since they're not here that often it doesn't matter if I use half the container. These are hot rollers that I don't ever use. I'm going to see if my daughter-in-law wants those. The Vicks baby rub that I've been looking for forever. I knew we had some. So I try to keep extras of things like face scrub, deodorant, shampoo, whatever. And then when they start getting low, then I know that I need to buy some more. Oh, look at this. I have a whole bunch of these. What is this? So this is all my, there's a bunch of travel stuff in here, but I need to just organize it and put it, um, let's see. I think I'm just going to get like a gallon baggie, to a Ziploc baggie to keep all this stuff in and then I can pull out what I need if I'm going to travel. Mm. I have so many that I've, like I... I start them, I can't. I have a pack, I can't find it, so I buy another pack, then I find the old stuff. But some of this, you know, the these little containers aren't the aren't the best, so they they will get kind of gunky and oh look at that, that's much better than that mess that I had. Um I'm gonna put this right up there so it's not in the way. All right, this is nail stuff. I don't know, none of these polishes are any good anymore. I mean, I've happily had them for years. Okay, let's see what I've got down here. Oh, goodness, so embarrassing. More boxes. Another heating pad like thing. This is just random stuff, most of which can go in the trash. Whoops, I missed. So this is a, a wrap of some sort. This is first aid spray. So let me just put all this over, over here. And we're gonna clean up that cabinet here in a little bit. So let's see. I have my big Velcro rollers that I do use occasionally. And then I have in here just some, some makeup, some brushes. Some of this I do use for different things. So I'm pretty happy with that. Go ahead and close that. So I think what I'm going to do is put all of our first aid stuff here. COVID tests. Put, oh, if I can get a hold of this. Take everything out and just leave this basket for actual band-aids. 
we'll have all that other wound and hair stuff right there. All right, I am happy with those cabinets. All right, before we move on to the next set of cabinets, I need to take this trash out because it's clearful. It's so full, I can barely get it out of the, there we go, out of the trash can. So this container is just holding all of the little bags that I have that I use when I go out of town. Where did I put that stuff in the bottom? Okay, the next, the next cabinet we're gonna work on, well, I guess I should say it's the last cabinet, is these right here. So. These hold our sheets and towels, and I just need to, I mostly just need to organize, but I have a lot of sheet sets that I'm just going to donate. Um, I started, I started buying the linen sheets from Brooklinen. I love them. I have three sets now, that's enough sheets for us to have right now, so I'm gonna pull all of my other sets out and just donate them. There's a donation center, there's a church um, just right up in town that accepts donations. They have a sale, like a thrift day sale on Saturday mornings, I believe. So we'll just take those up there so that, um, you know, they can put those in that, in that donation. So our primary um, colors that I have in our bathroom for our sheets and I mean our for our towels is uh, gray and blue, and I've got a couple sets of each. I do have one set of white, which I don't get out very often because my husband works in the dirt all day, and sometimes he touches them and they get dirty. So I don't. I'm. Still trying to decide about those. All right, but I have tons of just regular sheet sets. And at one point I went through and wrapped them all up like this in a set. And I don't know why I thought one trash bag was gonna be enough. Let me go get a couple more. These wrap up really nicely when you do it like that and wrap them with a pillowcase, but I don't need all those. So we're gonna package these up and donate them to people who really do need them. So I'm gonna get done here, package all these, or get these all in trash bags that we can take to the donation center, and then we'll start putting our other ones back in the space where they belong. Okay, I just filled four trash bags with sheets. That is just ridiculous. Plus, I found some curtain panels that we had at our old house that don't fit anything in here in terms of style. So those went in there too. I'm gonna take these all out to the other room so that I can get those in my car for donation. Oh my gosh. So now I can move the linen sheets down here where they belong instead of up in the towel space. Like I said, I've got three sets. So that means I have two in here at any given time. One, of course, on our bed. So I'm gonna slide these white towels over And I'm going to sort these stacks of towels into the blue and gray. And I like to, I like to alternate them when we use them. 
I know it doesn't really make any difference, but that's just what I do. I have just some random washcloths up here that get used for whatever. And then I can sort the hand towels and washcloths that go with the towels. Oh, so much nicer. I don't know if I can get you in there. Let's give it a try. So there we go. And now that top piece, let me close this. Now this top piece is, oh, more band-aids. The top piece, we usually just keep like extra toilet paper up here. We keep extra toilet paper up here so that we don't always have to go downstairs to grab it when we need to fill up our container. Yay! So, I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff that I'm going to offer to my daughter-in-law in this bag. Um, and if she doesn't want it, then I'm just going to put it in the donation pile. So there's her stuff. Hannah's stuff is a pretty small stack. Oh, I forgot to put the... Brittany's actually going to be here later dropping Gwen off. All right, so that is going to do it for today's video. I feel really good about what we got accomplished in here. Um, there's probably more things I could throw away, but... Um, some of those things, like I said, I haven't seen for a while, and so I do want to see if I use them. If I don't use them, they're going to go. But I feel like this space is lighter. I still need to just do my regular cleaning, the sinks, the mirrors, the shower, whatever. But all of the spaces are cleared of clutter, and so you guys know when you get something all cleaned up and clutter-free like that, how much lighter it makes you feel. So I do feel a lot lighter and I'm hoping this also helps lighten the load in my brain as I go and work through this whole process. So there's one room down, a whole lot more space to go, but any progress is progress. You're not gonna get it all done in one day. You would go crazy trying. Um, and I feel good about what I've accomplished today and so um, I'm gonna call this good. I'm gonna call this a win for today. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you to do something in your own space, whether that's just a single space, your whole house, your garage, whatever, your office, whatever, you, whatever it inspires you to do. I hope that it inspires you to make a change for lightening your physical and mental load. And so I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.